morning my brother my sister i want to welcome you all to another glorious time before the king of glory the lord of lord the ancient of this i want to welcome you to the very last day in the month of august and i know jehovah that has started this month with you i know god will do us something in our life today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth my sister my brother i want to bless god for your life for god have can't you worthy to see the very last day in the month of august i know that lord will do something powerful the bible says deliver me from my enemy oh lord I have fled to you for refuge, Psalm 143, verse 9. I know today Jehovah will deliver you. As this month come to an end, I know every sorrow in your life, every shame in your life shall come to an end in the name of Jesus. So my sister, my brother, I want you to release your faith as you connect today. In any part of the world you are connecting from, I want you to release your faith. The Bible said, the Lord will rescue me from every evil deed and bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Bible speaks in Second Timothy 4, 18. The Lord will rescue you this morning. As you connect, as you begin the very last day of this month, in the presence of God, I know Jehovah, he will rescue you from every evil in the name of Jesus. I say, my sister, my brother, the Lord will rescue you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge. As you take refuge in the Lord, I According to his word, the Bible says, my shield and the honor of my salvation, my stronghold, Psalm 18 verse 2. I pray this morning. I say, my brother, my sister, this morning in this prayer, the over indeed will be your rock. It will be the rock over your family, in your marriage, over your career. I say, the Lord will be your rock. It will be your fortress. It will be your deliverer. As you join us today, the Lord indeed will be your refuge and will be the honor of your salvation. In the name of Jesus, all that you need this morning is to release your faith. The the Bible says he will guide the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness, for not by might shall a man prevail. First Samuel 2 9, 2 9. I want us to understand the Lord will guide you as you cross over into the new month. Jehovah will guide you as we conclude this month. I know the faithful father will guide you. The Bible speaks in 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3. The Bible says, But the Lord is faithful, he will establish you and guide you against evil one, and that will be your testimony my sister that will be your testimony my brother the bible says, for everyone who call upon the name of the lord it will be saved roman 10 13 i say you are saved my sister you are saved my brother the lord has delivered you and as we go today i want us to understand that the power of god is upon us i say to take you from the domain of darkness and transfer you to the kingdom of god the bible says he has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transfer us to the kingdom of his beloved son colossians 113. I know that will be your testimony. As you cross over, Jehovah will do over and above. In your life, just submit yourself therefore before the Lord this morning and see what Jehovah will do. In the name of Jesus, I want us to thank God. I want us to give God all the praise. I want to thank him for the Lord has allowed you to see the all the 31st day in this month. God has allowed you to see all the days of this month. My brother, my bro sister, I want you to know that God is worthy. I say Jehovah is worthy of your praise is worthy of your praise i want us to glory to the give glory to the god our father this morning give glory to his holy name glory to him and that make it possible for you and me to enjoy the miracle of another day i want us to thank him to see another beautiful day the very last day in the month of august that you are able to cross over into this last day my sister my brother god is worthy to celebrate god i want us to know that the gift of life is priceless and I want you, only the living can celebrate it. So this morning, I want to celebrate God. My sister, my brother, honor God. Wherever you are, thank God that has allowed you to see the end of the eighth month in this year. As you are about to cross over into the ninth month, I want us to thank God this morning. Somebody celebrate the Father. Somebody honor God this morning in your life, in your family. Look at what the Lord has done. I want to elevate and glorify the name of the Father. Give God the praise. I say, bless the name of the Father. 
appreciate God in your life for what Jehovah has done. Thank God for his goodness, for his mercy. Thank God for the love of God in your life. Look at, look at everywhere you are and celebrate the Father. The Bible says, to that end, even to this end, that my glory may sing praises to thee and not be silent. My sister, my brother, Psalm 30 verse 12, I want us to celebrate the Father. Somebody glorify the name of God. Give God the praise. The Bible says, oh Lord my God, I will give thanks to thee forever. My sister, my brother, wherever you are, I want to encourage you this morning. Somebody give God praise. Offer to God thanksgiving. David speak in Psalm 50 verse 14. He said, offer unto God thanksgiving and pay vow unto the most high. My sister, all that we can offer, my brother, is to give God the praise. Is to thank Jehovah and celebrate God in our life, over our family, concerning our health, that you are still alive today, my sister, my brother. That is why we can begin to ask for things. I want us to celebrate God. Somebody praise the name of the Father. Give God the praise. Give him the adoration. Give him all the glory. The Bible says, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. I say, praise ye the Lord. Psalm 150 verse 6. Somebody celebrate. Sing unto the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. I say, deliver, uh, deliver your soul. Deliver our soul. I say, this day we have to praise him. Somebody celebrate God. Thank the King of glory. Thank the ancient of this. Give God the praise this morning. Celebrate the Father. I want us to thank God. The Bible says, continue in prayer and wash in the same way with thanksgiving. Colossians 4 2. I want to praise God. Give God the praise. The Bible says, I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. Psalm 54, verse 6. Somebody give God the praise. Give God the honor and thank him. Thank him. Thank him for what he has done. Exodus 15 11. The Bible says, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the God? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, doing wonders? Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us in the month of August. Father, we praise your name. My sister, my brother, it's the beginning of another day. I want you to know this is the last day in the month of August. August. I want you to celebrate the Father. Somebody give God the praise. Give God the glory. Give him the honor. Give him the praise this morning. Give Jehovah the praise. Thank him for all that he has done in your life. The Bible said, therefore, I will give thanks unto thee. O Lord, among the Eden, I will sing praise unto thy name. Second Samuel 22, 50. I want us to praise God. Somebody thank God for the salvation of your soul. That you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. My sister, my brother, I want you to give God the praise this morning. Thank Jehovah for what the Lord has done for you. Celebrate the Father for the blood of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. What the blood has done in your life, what he has done in your family, what he has, the blood has rescued you. I want us to plead the blood. Somebody this morning, wherever you are, begin to saturate yourself, saturate your spirit, soul, and body in the blood of Jesus, in the blood of Christ. I want somebody to plead the blood. Apply the blood by faith. I say this morning, by faith, begin to cover yourself in the last day of this month. Begin to cover yourself in the precious blood of Christ, the blood of the cross, the blood of covenant. My sister, my brother, saturate the environment around you. Saturate the atmosphere in your house in the blood of Jesus. Cover the heaven above you in the blood of Jesus. By faith, begin to plead the blood. Cover the city where you are, the nation where you are residing. I want to cover it in the blood. My sister, my brother, plead the blood of Jesus over your environment. Saturate everything that concerns you in the blood of Jesus. Cover your work place in the blood if i were you i will cover my business in the blood i will cover my workplace in the blood cover your office in the blood of jesus my sister my brother i say this morning somebody play the blood over your children play the blood over your career play the blood your academic work play the blood my sister my brother i said today you are justified by the blood of the lamb revelation 12 11 the bible said we overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony my sister my brother you are justified by the blood you overcame by the blood i said this morning i want you to understand that you are redeemed by the blood i say you have peace in your life peace in your marriage peace in your body by the blood i say my sister you are god's property because you are brought by the blood of christ i want somebody to plead the blood saturate and speak the blood over yourself in the name of jesus begin to plead the blood in every area of your life because this morning as 
I join my faith with your faith. I know this morning the blood has liberated you. I say by the blood you are sanctified. My sister, you are validated by the blood of Christ. You are qualified because of the blood. The blood authorizes you in every area of, of life. I say this morning the blood of Jesus has positioned you for all the breakthrough and the blessing that you desire, that you deserve in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has brought you into alignment with the glory and the and the plan of God for your life in the name of Jesus. I say, made the blood. I say this morning, the blood of Jesus has caused you to find favor anywhere you go. You are empowered by the blood of Jesus. Somebody pray the blood. I want us to pray that Father, as today is the last day of the month of August, mighty Father, I pray, Jehovah, out of your mercy, empowered me. Somebody pray, pray for that empowerment, empowerment to enter the new month, empowerment to go to crossover. Somebody pray that Father empowered me. Empower me, Jehovah. My sister, my brother, I want you to pray for that empowerment. As we end in prayer this morning, I want you to pray that Father anoint me. Anoint me with the Holy Ghost and with power. Somebody pray that prayer. That Father anoint me. Anoint me with the Holy Ghost and with power. That Father, this morning, as I come before you, Jehovah, I want you to anoint me with the Holy Ghost and with power. Father, fill me with the Holy Ghost and power. My sister, my brother, you need the power. You need to be empowered. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. You need that fortification. You need the Holy Ghost to fill you afresh in your spirit, man, in your soul. You need that power of the Holy Ghost to be over you. I said this morning, my brother, my sister, wherever you are, I want you to pray. The Bible speaking at 1038. Our God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. My sister, my brother, you need that fortification. You need to be empowered. You cannot live an empty life as a believer. You need to be fortify. I said this morning, somebody pray. Pray that Father surround me with the wall of fire. I said the power of the Holy Ghost. I join my faith with your faith. And I said this morning, may you be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. I said today, may you be anointed by fire. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, may you surround your home. May you surround your atmosphere, your business. May you surround your workplace in the name of Jesus. I said today, receive that power, my sister. Receive that power, my brother. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive the fire. I said, may the fire and the power, may it come upon you. I said today, be anointed in the Holy Ghost. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. May the power of the Holy Ghost, may it fall upon you. I pray this morning. I said, be empowered. My brother, be empowered. Be fortified, my sister. Be empowered. Be empowered. Be empowered. Somebody receive that power. Receive that power. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. I said, may the Holy Ghost, may you saturate your spirit, man. May you saturate your spirit, man. I said today, may you overflow in the power of the Holy Ghost. I say be filled. Be filled this morning. Somebody be empowered. Be empowered. My sister, be empowered. My brother, be empowered. Receive that fire. The Holy Ghost fire. May he enter you. I say today, may the sweet Holy Spirit, may he fill you afresh this morning. In the name of Jesus, be empowered. May you, may the power of the Holy Ghost, may you come upon you. May you overflow. I say may you increase your capacity. Your capacity before God. You will not be limited. I say my sister, and be empowered. Be empowered, my brother. We are going to pray this morning. The Bible speaking, Joel 22, 28. The Bible says, we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. My sister, my brother, today is the last day. It is the last day in the month. In the month of August. And we are going to pray. We are going to make a bold declaration. And as we make our declaration, I want you to release your faith. We are going to pray that, Father, today mark the end. The end of sorrow and end of shame in my life. I said that sorrow, that shameful thing in your life it will not be a carryover into the month of september i say today there shall be no carryover i say no carryover you are not carrying that problem over to the month of september we are going to pray that father every evil carry over in my life the carry over of sorrow the carry over of shame i said today there is going to be a conclusion as this month end today i said there will be an end to the sorrow sorrow in my life sorrow shame in my life i said my sister my brother you are going to make a bold declaration. You are going to make a bold declaration. I said today you are going to declare by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want us to declare. Declare in the power of the Holy Ghost. Declare this day, my sister. My brother, declare. I want you to declare. The Bible says for everyone who call 
upon the name of the Lord will be saved. I want you to pray this day. We are going to pray that Father, every shame in my life, whatever you don't want to carry over, whatever you don't want to carry over into the month of September, my sister, my brother, you have to deal with it this morning. You have to deal with it now and begin to terminate them by the power in the Holy Ghost. I say today, you have to deal with it, my sister, my brother, you have to deal with it. You have to ask God this day by the mercy of God. The Bible say, I saw the Lord, he answered me and delivered me from all my fear. My sister, I don't know the fear in your life. You don't want to carry over. No more carry over. I say, you are not carrying anything over. No problem, you carry over into the next month. I say today, that failure, you are not going to carry it over. You are going to terminate it. The Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their life even unto death. I say this morning, Revelation 12, 11, we are going to declare in the power of the blood and we are going to say this day that Father, Lord, out of your mercy, every evil carry over, every evil in my life, I will not carry it over into the month of September. My sister, my brother, I want you to pray this prayer. The Bible say, call upon me in the days of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Psalm 50 verse 15. I say today, my sister, my brother, we are going to make that declare declaration and you are going to pray by faith this day. Somebody begin to declare that Father, no more carry over. I'm not going to carry over into, into the month of September. Father, I pray every sorrow, every sorrowful thing in my finances, in my career, in my business, in my marriage, in my family, over my children, they are terminated. Somebody begin to speak to them, begin to speak destruction over that sorrow, over that shameful thing that is in your life. I say today, La Kaba Shateya. The Bible say when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and deliver them out of all their trouble. Psalm 34 verse 17. I say somebody, you will be delivered this morning. The Bible say then they cry to the Lord in their trouble, he delivered them from their distress. Psalm 107 verse 6. My sister, my brother, I say this day, I want us to declare. Somebody declare by faith today. I want you to declare in the power of the Holy Ghost. I say somebody declare that Father, I cancel, I nullify. I say this morning, I tell name every sorrowful thing in my life they are terminated they are terminated i will not carry it over somebody i want you to confess because your confession is your possession as you confess this morning as you determine in your heart that joblessness begin to terminate it i say it will not be a carryover it will not be a carryover the father i terminate the root of joblessness in my life they are terminated they are terminated they are terminated father i decree i join my faith with the faith of as many in this prayer meeting. I say this morning, I join my faith with your faith. I say every bitterness, I say you will not carry it over into the month of September. I say they are terminated. No more carry over. I say today, every trauma that you are going to right now, I say you will not carry over. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy and I decree. I say they are terminated. The trauma in your workplace, the trauma in your business, the trauma in your marriage, I say they are terminated. I say today, every agony that you are going through they are terminated they are terminated by the power in the name of Jesus no more carry over of any agony I say agony you are going through in your life my sister my brother I say today they are terminated every sorrow the root of sorrow in your life I command them to dry up I say today in the name of Jesus they are drying up they are drying up the Bible speaks in Colossians chapter 2 14 the Bible says anything against me any accusation is removed by the blood the Bible say the Lord will grant you as a judge and the legal right to render verdict. I say today, my sister, my brother, I prophesy and I decree today and I say today, every sorrow, every sorrow thing, sorrowful thing in your life, in your life, you will not carry over. You will not carry over. You will not carry over into the next month. In the name of Jesus, I say today, they are being terminated. They are terminated. They are terminated. Every sadness you are going through, whatever is causing you to be sad, I say today, Day. my sister my brother begin to terminate somebody terminate no more carry over no more carry over no more carry over no more carry over i said today they are terminated they are terminated they are terminated somebody release your faith release your faith as you are praying right now release your faith that father the root of sadness in my life the root
it cause sadness in my family it may be sickness it may be joblessness it may be your immigration issue my sister my brother it may be your marital delay i say today they are terminated somebody decree make a decree make a decree begin to terminate i say today every tragedy in your life they are terminated i join my faith with your faith anything causing you to be distressed they are terminated i say no more carryover no more carryover no more carryover i say today the lord set you free the lord set you free every discomfort they are terminated i say today discomfort in your life they are terminated discomfort in your body in your health they are terminated every form of disappointment they are terminated i say today no more carryover i say today no more carryover i prophesy and i decree i say today every resentment of the enemy anything that want to cause you i say every difficulty you are facing i say today i join my faith with your faith they are terminated they are terminated they are terminated every frustration you are not going to carry it over they are terminated i say by faith they are terminated they are faith by a terminated i said today every depression every dejection they are terminated my sister my brother i say every hostility against you in your workplace in your business they are terminated as you go i say this day this morning i say lord every misfortune that the enemy is using to fight your life i say today they are cancelled they are nullified by the blood by the blood no more carry over no more carry over no more carry of over of any evil of any evil i say today they are terminated i pray every disorder every confusion in your life they are destroyed they are terminated by the blood of jesus they are terminated the lord set you free the lord set you free any calamity you are going through every infirmity in your life i say today every torture every a mental torture i say today psychological torture i say physical torture you are going through they are terminated i say today the lord put an end as to, as today mark the end of the month of august i say father i say your sorrow the sorrow in your life the sorrow in your business the sorrow in your career i say today the lord mark the hand today mark the hand they are terminated they are terminated they are terminated they are terminated no more carryover no more carryover of any evil i say my sister you are not going to carry it over you are not going to carry it over my brother you are not going to carry it over i say today today mark the end of that joblessness in your life today mark the end of that miscarriage today mark the end you are not going to carry it over into the month of september i say today today mark the end that delay in your life today mark the end my sister my brother i say today today mark the end no more carryover no more carryover no more carryover that burden the lord put an end the lord put an end the lord put an end i say today jehovah put an end to it in your life i say today the lord put an end that rejection that rejection i say today the lord put an end in the name of jesus that discouragement the lord put an end to it i say no more carryover no more carryover no more carryover the end has come to it the end has come to it. every oppression of the enemy in your life every suffering every hardship you are going through the lord terminate i say today no more carryover no more carryover of any evil into the month of september i say today mark the end today mark the end today mark the end in the name of jesus that failure that failure that you have experienced maybe concerning securing a job i say today today mark the end today mark the end no more carryover no more carryover no more carryover you are not going to carry over any evil any evil any evil into the new month in the name of jesus i say my sister i say my brother you are liberated 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 i say today you are liberated the bible say for freedom christ has set us free standing firm therefore do not submit again to the yoke of slavery galatians chapter 5 verse 1 i say today you are set free my brother you are set free my sister you are set free i say today by the power in the name of jesus the lord set you free 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 the bible say he sent forth his word his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction i say you are not going to carry over any destruction psalm 107 verse 20 the lord set you free you are not carrying over no evil so you will not carry over 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 evil into the new month you are set free you are liberated by the blood the blood of jesus set you free it set you free in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen amen 
Amen in Jesus' name. My sister, my brother, I want to reassure you that this morning, indeed, the Lord has set you free. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, He has set you free from every evil. You are not going to carry over any evil into the new month. In the name of Jesus, I said throughout today, continue to reject them and begin to tell yourself you are not carrying over that evil into the new month. In the name of Jesus. And as you declare, so shall it be in your life. In Jesus' name. Before you leave, my sister, my brother, if this prayer has blessed you this morning i say today i want you to please like this prayer turn see up and please leave remember to leave your faith comment and as you do so god bless you in the name of jesus please like click that button and turn see up and as you do so god bless you my brother god bless you my sister as you support us god bless you in the name of jesus i want to remind you that tomorrow is the beginning of another new month so my sister my brother join us as we pray as we make a declaration tomorrow in what we want to see in the month of september i said is the is the ninth month of the year it's a month of fruitfulness it's a month of completion it's a month of fulfillment my sister my brother i don't know what you want to see in your life please don't sleep that night i want you to join us we are going to make powerful declaration in the holy ghost concerning the new month and as we do so i know jehovah will answer us all that you want to see all you want to see in your life the performance you want to see in your life in the month of september please join us tomorrow and tomorrow midnight prayer and as we declare as we make prophetic declaration into the month of september and i know god will do something awesome and glorious in your life in your family in the name of jesus i want to remind all my single brothers and sisters that please the assignment the spiritual assignment please continue faithfully don't be discouraged the enemy may want to come and, and discourage you the bible say hope oh, deferred it make the heart sick so my sister my brother i want you to be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged continue in this assignment and as you continue i know god we we do wonder there shall be performance in your life in the name of jesus i trust god that before the end of this year jehovah will connect you with your own godly husband your own godly wife and i know as many that desire to get married this year i know faithful is the lord that we serve the lord will make it good for you i say the lord will connect you there shall be performance there shall be performance in your life in the name of jesus god bless you this morning as you go today which is the last day of the month of august my sister my brother make that confession there will be no evil carryover into the new month in the name of jesus god bless you have a fruitful day in jesus name amen amen in jesus name god bless you